students are you facing difficulty in the chapter circle of grade 10 geometry today in this video i will be going to explain the chord and tangent properties of circle so let us begin with the first theorem the theorem says if two chords of a circle intersect internally or externally then the products of the length of their segments are equal this is the diagram of two chords intersecting internally in a circle let us say the point of intersection b point p so when the chords are intersecting internally the point of intersection lies inside the circle and the chord ab is divided into two parts ap and pb similarly the chord cd is also divided into two parts cp and spd so according to the theorem when the chords are intersecting internally the product of the length of their segments length of their segments that means the two segments ap and pb the product of their lengths is equal to the product of the segments of another chord that is cd so the equation of this theorem is pa into pb is equal to pc into pd let us see the proof of this theorem for this we will join ac and bd now you have two triangles triangle a c p and another triangle d p b now in this two triangles angle a and angle d are equal because they are the two angles formed by the same arc bc or you can say angle c a p is equal to angle b d angle b d p they are angles in same segment angles in the same segments similarly angle acp and angle dbp are also the angles in the same segment formed by the chord ad or arc ad so you can say angle a c p is equal to angle d b p by the same reason angles in the same segment both the segments are different for these two different equations now within a tri within two triangles if two pairs of angles are equal we know the angles the uh, triangles are similar so we have triangle acp similar to triangle dbp by aa similarity rule and once the two triangles are similar so here the corresponding sides are if we write pa from first triangle then corresponding side will be pd in the second triangle if we say pc as one side in first triangle then 
PB will be the corresponding side in the another triangle. And if we cross multiply this proportionality, we get PA into PB equals to PC into PD. So thus, the segments of the chords the product of their lengths are equal when two chords intersect internally in a circle. Now let us see what happens when the chords intersect externally. Suppose the two chords of a circle AB and CD, if they are not parallel and not intersecting within the circle, they will be intersect only when they are produced. So here the chord AB is produced and chord CD is produced to meet externally at point P. So this is how two chords of a circle intersect externally. Now here also, the theorem remains the same. The product of the length of their segments are equal. So the length of the segment will be PA as one segment and PB as another segment. So the product of these two segments equal to the product of segments of another chord that is PC and PD. So the statement remains the same whether the chords intersect internally or externally. Let us see the proof in this case. Again, the proof will be based on similarity of triangles. So we join AC and BD and this time using the triangle ACP and triangle DBP, the same two triangles but in a different position. And this time we will be using a different theorem. We know angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the opposite exterior angle of that quadrilateral. So here angle CAP, angle CAP is equal to the exterior angle BDP. And in the same way, the angle C of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to its exterior opposite angle DBP. So we can say angle ACP equals to angle DBP. Both of these are equal with the same property opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral. Sorry, this is not the opposite angles. It will be opposite angle of a cyclic quadrilateral equal to its interior opposite angle. So it's a property of a cyclic quadrilateral. So again, the two triangles are similar. Triangle ACP is similar to triangle DBP. We have proved similarity again by AA rule. AA similarity.
and once the triangles are similar we can say the corresponding sides are proportional so p a corresponds to p d side equals to p c corresponds to p b side and if we cross multiply this proportionality we get p a into p b equals to p c into p d so thus whether the two chords intersect externally or internally the product of the length of the segment of one chord is equal to the product of the length of the segment of other chord so this pa into pb is equals to pc into pd remains constant whether chords intersect internally or externally another theorem on the chords and tangents the theorem says if a chord and a tangent intersect externally then the product of the length of the segments of a chord is equal to the square of the length of the tangent from the point of contact outside the circle so when a chord is extended it meets the tangent at some external point p then the length of the segments of a chord and the product of these two segments so from the external point pa is one segment pb is another segment so the product of these two lengths is equal to the square of the length of the tangent so the length of the tangent is the length between external point and the point of contact the square of that length is equal to the product of the segments of a chord so equation of this theorem is pa into pb is equal to pt square let us understand the proof of this theorem with a small activity which is based on the previous theorem let us assume as per the previous theorem the two chords intersect externally at point p let's say the chord ab and chord cd are meeting externally at point p so according to that theorem previous theorem we can say pa into pb is equal to p c into p d now observe carefully when we change the position of this chord cd if we bring down this chord cd you will see that the points c and d are gradually coming closer to each other on the circumference so if we continue to bring down the chord cd till a point where c and d coincide each other means that point that line is touching the circle at only one point so the points c and d will coincide each other so that means the length of pc and pd will be equal and if we rename this point as t then it is also equal to pt which is the tangent because that line segment is touching only one point on the circle so replacing pc and pd by the same value pt we get pt square which is equal to pa into pb so this is 
an activity based proof of this theorem now let us see few questions based on these three theorems the question is find the value of x from the following figures so the first figure is when the two chords ab and cd are intersecting internally in a circle at point p so according to that theorem pa into pb is equal to pc into pd so if you substitute the values pa is given 5 pb is given 5.6 pc is given 3.5 and pd is x we have to find the value of x so by transposing the numbers x equals to 5 into 5.6 divided by 3.5 and on simplifying this we get 28 upon 35 into 10 so that is 7 4 times 7 five times 5 one time 5 two times so the value of x is 8 units so this is how we find the value of unknown using the theorem another question a very similar question you can work out on your own and post your answer in the comment box now here the chords are intersecting externally so the theorem says pa into pb is equal to pc into pd but we have to be careful in finding the measurement of each segment pa is 7 but pb is from p to b is addition of 9 and 7 that is 16 so pb is 16 and not only 9 the same way pc is directly 8 and pd is 8 plus x that is the entire segment pd so that will be 8 plus x so solving this simple equation in one variable we get 7 into 16 upon 8 equals to 8 plus x so 8 and 8 to two times so 7 two times 14 minus 8 that is x equals to 6 units another question with the figure similar Uh, this figure is based on the third theorem that is a chord and the tangent so the theorem says the product of the length of the segments of a chord pa into pb is equal to the square of length of the tangent that is pt square so if we substitute the values pa is 4.5 but pb is the sum of 4.5 and 13.5 that is 18 so pb is 18 and that is equals to pt square so a 4.5 times 18 is 81 
that is equals to pt square so square root of 81 that is pt equals to 9 units another similar question based on intersecting chord and the tangent so the theorem says pa into pb the product of the length of the segments of a chord equals to pt square now identify all these three values from the diagram correctly and solve for the variable x so if we put the values it will be x multiplied by x plus 10 equals to 12 squared so simplifying this brackets we get x squared plus 10x equals to 144 and transposing it on the one, on the left hand side x squared plus 10x minus 144 equals to 0 this is a quadratic equation so that can be solved by factorizing method splitting the middle term or using the formula so obtain the value of x by solving the quadratic equation and that will be the answer for this question i hope you have understood the theorems and their applications in the questions thank you for watching this video